This is my favorite part of my walk to the gym. I've had like two of these today. This is my second one. I don't know how many green juices you're supposed to have in a day, but I love them. This is the Juice Press Dr. Green Juice. I have a lot of stuff happening this week. Well, not a lot, like two things happening that are sort of out of the ordinary. So my normal life in New York is just trying to hold it down, hold down the fort in terms of my consulting work that I've been doing over the past two years. I'll do a whole separate video about that at some point. And then going to a lot of dinners with friends. But this week I have a book launch party for my friend Maria's book, which is tonight, and I'm going to Brooklyn to do that. And for anyone who knows me, it's not easy to get me to go to Brooklyn. So I'm gonna go to her reading and then we're going to her pizza book party, which is brilliant. When I launched my book in 2006, I got it sponsored by this vodka company and we had it at this club. And it was like such a weird experience because, you know, I haven't had a birthday party since I was a kid. And it's just such a weird experience to be at a party where you are the only person who knows everyone there. We did have some crashers at my party and I remember, if I see this guy's name, I will remember because I think that he was like a serial party crasher back in the day. And they came and this was like very early social media. It was like the year Twitter became public, like was available to use by normal people. And I think that they came and they took gift bags. My gift bags were really good. I think there were like Spanx in my gift bag and like products from Clinique and Clarins and just, you know, really great free things in the gift bag. And he and his friends, I want to say his name was Brad. He and his friends came to the party, all took gift bags. I didn't know them. And then they posted mean things about the gift bags on social media. And it was my first experience with mean people on social media who don't know you. <laughs> so this is the week. It's like sort of the unofficial start of summer in New York City. Memorial Day is the unofficial start of summer in New York and then everyone is impossible to get hold of for the next three months and then everyone comes back after Labor Day. But I thought I would take this opportunity to start doing things that I've been thinking and talking about doing for years. So this week I am going to start the first episode of a new podcast series idea that I have. I haven't done my own podcast since 2020. A couple of years ago, I launched the Asian American Pacific Islander Task Force podcast for the mayor of LA's office. It was totally random. I was living in England. So I did that with my friend Andy. It was super, super fun. I'm a little bit out of practice and I'm also a little bit nervous about doing the podcast on my own. So I'll let you know when that happens. We'll see how it turns out. I think it's kind of hard to do a podcast by yourself. And I'm not I'm really, obviously, I'm like so out of practice with talking to a camera, but I do think it's something. It's like swimming. Once you have done it, even if you go away for a while, when you come back, you can still pick it up again. So hopefully I'll come out, stop like, you know, like stuttering over my own words. <laughs> I'm working on a granny stitch sweater right now. I love this yarn so much. This is the Premier Yarns Spun Colors. And I know it's summer, but I love this yarn. I love working with it. It is fine super wash merino and acrylic. And the acrylic helps with strength. It's so easy to work with and I love this is the colorway summertime. You see how pretty the colors are. But I especially love how this looks in granny stitch. So yeah, it has that sort of old fashioned crochet look. It's very soft and it's washable wool, which is great. Do a rib neckline. I love crocheting rib. It feels so satisfying. But yeah, 
I'm doing this as a top-down sweater. So you start from the top, from the neckline, and you crochet all the way down. I've just joined at the underarms, and so now I'm just crocheting the body part. I just moved my big desk from the window. I had two desks, I have two desks. One that I put in front of my bookshelf for Zoom calls and stuff like that. So when I on video call with people, they don't see my messy apartment, they see a fairly well organized bookshelf. And then I have my proper work desk that I used to put in front of my window just to have some natural light while I'm working. And I've just moved that big desk here where it used to live it's a long story I live in a very small apartment and I've lived here for a long time and when I came back from England last year it just felt New York is and it's very controversial and people don't like talking about it but I don't feel particularly safe or as safe as I used to feel in New York and I grew up in New York City so Last year, I realized I didn't really feel comfortable going outside and getting my steps in and walking around the city as much, or I just felt like a little bit constrained in the winter because the sun would set really early and then you just like read all these crazy local crime stories, things that you haven't like, you know, like never really happened before in the past 40 years. So I bought one of those walking pads, those like um, under desk walking pads. They're treadmills, but without the handles. And I bought one to set it up, and I bought a standing desk extension for a desk. But it didn't really work out configuration-wise in my apartment, so to move my big desk by the window, I had to stand it up. Anyway, I want to use it again, so to use it again, I have to move the big desk here. So here I am. I also have a lot of yarn. You can't see it because it's behind the camera, and it's just like yarn chaos. Last October, I started crocheting. I have some videos on my channel about how I started crocheting. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. But along with that habit comes a lot of yarn hoarding. And something you learn really quickly when you start crocheting is that dye lots, which is how uniform a bunch of different skeins of the same color yarn can look. It's different. It's very different from dye lot to dye lot. So if I really like a yarn, like I love this yarn. This is the, um, I think this is the Spun Colors from Premier. This is the summertime colorway. Look at, look at this. Doesn't look like summer camp. Love it so much. So I have a lot of this. And this is just one of many. 
but when you like a yarn or when I like a yarn I try to buy a bunch at once with a project in mind just so later on I don't have to go back and worry about not getting the same dreadlock that happened to me really early on I bought some Zondra Rhodes yarn from West Yorkshire spinners in England and I love that yarn and I rebought it because I had to finish a project and the color just was different and so I have these sweaters where it's the same yarn but the color sort of changes in the middle which is a little bit annoying when you work so hard on something anyway not important but I keep on running into these half finished skeins of yarn and I ran into a few they were all tangled up as I was moving my desk what is this like what is happening here you see how they just got like really frayed in the middle um, and so I'm just gonna wind that into a ball I have this thing where I think about the last few year the last few years and of course I have memories of them but the memories are not as vivid because I was doing less stuff I was doing a lot of stuff online and not in person and I wasn't seeing people as much and I wasn't traveling and I wasn't doing all the things I joke with my friends all the time that like I used to be somebody who did stuff like I used to go to Japan for the weekend because I felt like it and I really 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 still to this day really value that kind of freedom to just go and do things not I wouldn't say impulsively but because you can right like life is only so long ending the day with some mint tea in my Queen Elizabeth corgi mug on the balcony mm. I'm going to pick up takeout for my friend who just got out of chemo. I'm gonna bring it to her apartment, have some lunch together. I hope she's doing okay, but walking to the restaurant, it's like 85 degrees outside. I've been doing Factor all week just to try it out and um, sometimes I eat it for breakfast like today <laughs> because I might go to the gym. So this is a grilled chicken with some kind of mash and some kind of corn, 490 calories, high in protein, yeah, very convenient. wandered into a Petco event and I think there's like a dog runway show. I'm so excited. <laughs> 